solving this type of question, p plus 2 multiplied by p plus 3 multiplied by p plus 4 equals to 336, then we have to find the value of p. This is a type of question that doesn't require more than 5 seconds to solve. Of course, yes, it doesn't require more than 5 seconds to solve. I have p plus 2, put this in parentheses, then p plus 3, and at the same time, p plus 4 equals to 336. So what I've seen quite a number of people doing is to multiply out these two parentheses, then whatever the answer is, then multiply by the third one. Trust me, you don't want to spend an hour for a question that doesn't require more than five seconds to be solved. But if you say that is go by the way of most people are doing it, if you say p multiplied by p, you know how p square, then p multiplied by three, that is plus three p. Of course, two is going to multiply by p, and that's going to be plus two p. Then two multiplied by three, and that's going to be plus six. To multiply the all of this by p plus 4 in the parentheses, this is going to consume a lot of your time. There is a better approach to this. If you look at this right, left hand side, you're going to see that these values inside each parentheses are consecutive. That is what we mean by that is like you have one here, you have two here, you have three here. These are consecutive numbers, numbers that follow consecutively. Or you are saying, this is if this is two of course this is going to be three and of course this is going to be four simply because easily see wherever the p is uh plus two then wherever the p is plus three then wherever the p is that is plus four that shows that the numbers follow each other accordingly that simply means wherever the numbers i'm going to multiply together this left hand side is just going to be in an increasing order at the same time it must be able to give me 336 of course yes increasing order then at the same time equal to 336 i have known all that my responsibility is to find those three numbers that will be in an increasing order consecutively and at the same time, if I multiply them all together, must be able to give me 336. For instance, if I say 1, multiply by 2, then multiply by 3. Of course, this is in increasing order, and it is also consecutive, but it's not going to give me what I want, 336, because this is going to give me 6. Obviously, 6 is not where I want. I want 336. Therefore, I'm going to use prime factorization to see all the prime factors in the figure 336. Therefore, I'm going to write 336 here. Of course, I'm going to start with 2. So 2 goes there. What am I going to get? That is 1, 6, 8. 2 goes there again. That is 3, 4. 2 here again. That is 42. 2. 2 goes in 42. 21. This time around 3 in 21, 7 and 7 in 7, that's going to be 1. With this breakdown, I'm going to fish out my consecutive numbers. I can see from here to here, that is 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. Also, I can see from here down here, 2 multiplied by 3, that is 6, of course. Then I have 7 that is left. 7 outside here that shows that 336 is just the same thing as 6 times 7 multiplied by 8 is going to give me 336. Since I've gotten my consecutive number 6, 7, 8, then the job is done. Actually, this is what I'm looking for 6 times 7, then times 8, and this gives me 336. Therefore, if I put that here carefully, I'm going to say p plus 2 is just referring to 6 multiplied by p plus 3 is referring to 7 multiplied by p plus 4 is referring to 8. Of course, multiplying this together is going to give me the same 336.
Therefore, at the end of the day, I can conclude that P plus 2 is just equal to 6. And I write P plus 2 just equal to 6 and P equals to 6 minus 2. At the end of the day, P just equals to 4. Of course, I'm not going to stop there. I need to show this also. P plus 3 equals to 7. That is P plus 3 equals to 7. Then I say P equals to 7 minus 3. At the end of the day, it's still showing that P equals to 4. Of course, I'm not going to stop until I show forth the third one. P plus 4 equals to 8. P plus 4 equals to 8. Then P equals to 8 minus 4. At the end of the day, P equals to same 4. Mind you, we get the same 4 all through why because the same letter is used all through. Just to verify the value of this P as 4, we're going to insert 4 to wherever we find P. Then we're going to check if the left hand side is equal to right hand side. Of course, it's going to be so I have P plus 2. I substitute 4 here. 4 plus 2 into parentheses. Then another P which is 4 plus 3 this time around into parentheses. In parentheses, then another 4. We have P here, another 4 plus 4 and check if this left hand side will be the same thing as the right hand side of course it's going to be 3 only than 36 because 4 plus 2 that's going to be 6 multiplied by 4 plus 3 that's going to be 7 multiplied by 4 plus 4 and that is 8 uh, if we multiply the whole stuff together this left hand side of course this is 3 only than 36 and um, we have 336, which shows that 336 is equal to 336. What this actually means is that the value for P, which is equal to 4, is correct.